If you're looking at how to reset a Chrysler transmission control module, then you will be happy to know it is a relatively easy job to do yourself at home. This method works for all Chryslers and can also be used for other vehicles too. What is a transmission control module? Your transmission control module is responsible for controlling important aspects of your vehicle, including the acceleration, speed, and shifting function through solenoid valves and clutches. It also monitors the engine's throttle position, transmission gear selection, and vehicle speed. How to reset a Chrysler transmission control module. There are two main recognized methods that are used to reset a TCM. However, the second method is not recommended for every vehicle, as it can lead to much bigger issues in vehicles with a more complex system. You should never disconnect the power from your battery unless you are certain it is safe to do so. Method 1. The first method is the most universally recognized and easy way to reset your transmission control module and should take no more than 5 to 10 minutes to perform. You don't need any tools either so anyone can do it at home. Step 1. Start your ignition but don't turn the key fully and enable the engine. The lights on your dashboard should be illuminated. Step 2. Fully press your foot on the gas pedal until it reaches the floor. Leave it pressed for 10 to 15 seconds until you hear a click. This will activate your kickdown switch. Step 3. Turn your key to the off position and release the gas pedal. Step 4. Wait for 2 to 5 minutes before interacting with your vehicle. This includes opening doors, connecting a mobile device, or pressing anything. Just sit tight and wait so the vehicle's electrical systems have a chance to reset. Step 5. After the 5 minutes, you can drive your vehicle, but make sure you drive normally so the transmission can learn and react to your throttle input. Method 2. If you're fine the first method did not work, then you may want to try this next step, but it should be done with caution. These steps can only be done on certain vehicles, and can create bigger issues in vehicles than are not meant to have the power disconnected. Disconnecting the battery will clear any fault codes, but this will not fix any issues you may have with the relays or a fuse in your vehicle. This means disconnecting your battery may not reset the TCM, and it's best to contact a local mechanic for more advice beforehand. Signs of a bad TCM If resetting your transmission control module has not rectified the problems you were having, you may have to consider replacing it altogether. Here are some common signs of a bad transmission control module. Poor fuel economy. Trouble downshifting. Getting stuck in the same gear. Check engine light comes on. Shifting is unpredictable. Difficulty shifting into a higher gear. Can I drive with a bad TCM? Transmission control modules are responsible for shifting gears in your vehicle, which is highly important for maintaining control over your car. This means if you drive your car when the transmission control module is faulty, then you can create some seriously dangerous conditions for yourself and others on the road. Driving with a bad transmission is only going to further deteriorate the issue and can end up with your vehicle grinding itself to pieces. A burnt circuit or damaged TCM can only be fixed through specialist help or a complete replacement which a qualified vehicle technician will be able to perform for you and fix the issue before it becomes seriously expensive and damaging to your car. Sometimes the issue may not lay with your module even with the symptoms pointing towards it, so you may find you have a faulty valve solenoid or blocked passage. To summarize what we talked about in this video, your transmission control module is easy to reset and if you are looking into how to reset a Chrysler transmission control module, then it should only take around 10 minutes to perform before you can start driving your vehicle again. If you are unsure or are not fully convinced that your transmission control module is faulty or to blame for any issues you are having with your vehicle, then you should ask a qualified mechanic to check your vehicle over. Alternatively, you can use a scan tool to help you diagnose the issues at home and see if you can save some money fixing and replacing the parts. If your transmission control module is faulty, then you need to get it fixed as soon as possible, as it can create seriously unsafe driving conditions for you and others on the roads. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.